वेलकम टू माई चैनल शबिस्ता अनवर इफ़ यू डिन सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल यार प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब इट राइट नाउ असल वरह वक्त वाई प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सल्लम मैरिड आयशा एट द वेरी यंग एज एंड दिस इज अ टॉपिक on which i am working since long so i thought of sharing with you all today i have ga- gathered some information regarding this i really like wanted to share with everyone on my channel and i want to spread this message through my channel to everyone inshallah so first topic is the first thing we need to ask is who told us actual me that the aisha is alanha married the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam at this particular age okay it was aisha is alanha this is alanha for herself told us that she married the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and took him as her husband and not only that we need to look at the holistic relationship between the prophet muhammad and aisha talana who described the beautiful manners of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and how he was as her husband means you know we have to look in the particular things that how they both were means everyone was talking why muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam married aisha talana but no one is talking about why he married at khadija radhi talana a widower who was 40 and he was 25 why we always used to pinpoint means on the wrong things and it was not wrong actually because in that time what things were and how it was happening no one knows on that time actual me when the means you know when the girls were buried no one was there to question about that so now here comes my second point what is very important to us to understand the concept of adulthood and what it means to be of age to marry is something that a contemporary which we were looking at history and judging it by where is the concept of adulthood is something that changed and is vastly different from the modern concept that we have means on that time the concept of adulthood was different means on that time girls were actually used to get married at a very early age in india still in some rural areas girls are married in a childhood but no no one will question that but everyone will question why aisha zalan who married prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the things were really very different at that time but we should look in that way but no one is looking in that way actually this was going in my mind since a very long time ki why everyone is questioning and why because that time was very different that generation was very different from this generations so you can't compare this generation to that generation you know things were mashallah mashallah changed after our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came so to the extent extent that this concept of adulthood is something that society decides from time to time and is situational and it's really because every concept change from society means situation to situation and that is why in our time in our generation and even in our society what it means to be an adult of age is vastly different it is quite different from the time before us means still i know in india in rural areas many child marriages were done so every generation is changing from time to time so I really want to focus on that these things. Ki why every time means why no one is question to other things means on a good things. It was very normal even in America in in the seventeenth century to be wed before the age of twelve from nine to twelve, and this was something very normal in America also, not even in only in India, even in the United States today, that the age of consent in some states is fifteen with parental consent. Means, I'm not just talking about India. 
it was like on america also to the extent that up to the 12th century the catholic church that what was very normal for them to wed of 12 years and younger you know and not only that the american colonies like a woman by the name of mary hathaway who married in 1689 married at the age of 9 they were talking about just aisha salana but you look at the mary hathaway who was the who was american and she also married at the age of 9 and were at we at which year 1689 and this is what was completely normal in the society of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to marry aisha salana to at the extent that the prophet's own daughter ruqayya married at the age of 9 so it was not like means i am listening many youtube videos where everyone was questioning there is that blah blah and i was just doing my own research in this topic because because in my insight I want to discuss that no one discuss and that that this is something that no one discuss and no one attack the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and no one attack his character until the past hundred years of human history, not even the people in his time because it was a norm in human history that people marry and find themselves of age as adult and consenting to marry at that time. So, it's my own discussion. It's my own research. Why? it was not questioned before why it's questioning now you know my discussion from my side if there is any input of yours please 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 comment and let me know where i am wrong but i know from my through my research i've done a lot of research in this topic and this is my outcome of this topic i have put my views from my side and i am 100% 1000% satisfied Okay thanks for watching please like comment share and subscribe tata bye bye till then take care allah hafiz dua mein yaad rakhna khas